Hello guys, welcome to the Scream Fest. You are watching Headset VR. This is Cosmo Dread. So, before we start, we're going to have a little look at a few things. Preferences, locomotion. Okay, so as you can see, you can have smooth locomotion, teleport, snap rotation, or smooth. I'm going to go for snap. I mean, sorry, I'm going to go for smooth. Okay, so these are your controls. Move and rotate, inventory, interact, and grab. Okay, I'm going to turn the audio down a little bit. Echo Tango, transfer to injection orbit at 120. Because the music is very loud, in fairness. So, I'm not going to fiddle too much with the options. Okay, so... Now, Cosmo Dread is a roguelike horror game. Oh! Okay, welcome to the ship. This hunk of junk is, well, yet yeah, the controls are quite easy. Thanks for the tutorial. Oh, I've got a torch with that hand. Right stick turn around. Yep, yeah, that seems pretty straightforward. Oh, somebody sent me a love emoji. Oh. Right, so now I've never actually played this game before. But it sounds like there's something in the vents. Or oh, is that somebody flushed the toilet upstairs? Okay, either way, this is a roguelike horror game. So, I would just like to say, welcome to Headset VR. If you have seen the channel before, then you'll know that we'll be up to some shenanigans and antics and downright stupidity. We're going to just knock on the door. Anyway, like I was saying, welcome to Headset VR. The this is creepy. This is Screamfest, which is my Halloween celebration, as such. I mean, we had a, a different one last year, but we're going to go for Screamfest this year. Now, we've played through a week of zombie games. Well, I won't say a week, but we've played through a few zombie games last week. Unfortunately, I didn't get everything in that I wanted to do due to some technical issues, which is another story altogether. But we have got monsters this week now i did put up a vote on twitter but thankfully due to my massive popularity nobody actually was aware of the vote or should i say nobody actually gave a shit so i'm just gonna play stuff that i'm gonna play anyway so first of all we'll start with cosmo dread it's a ship riddled with riddled with electrical faults they don't pay the bill Yes, like I say, it's a roguelike game. So we're gonna... Oh. I want a cuppa. Hello, I'd like a cuppa. But, yeah, obviously not. So, yeah, we're stuck on this spaceship and we've got to do stuff to get ourselves off the ship. So, as I've never played the game, I have opted for... Oh, too fat to get around the corner. Somebody paid the electric bill. So I have opted for an air horn. Oh. oh, that's my oxygen level. Oh. Whoops. I seem to have dropped it. Okay, so You fucking bastard! That's the first shit of the day, and we've only been here five minutes. Okay, so open your inventory. Which is... Oh. What's this? Insert in a terminal. Terminal patient? Or a computer terminal? It doesn't say... Well... I'm not going to bust it now. Can I... Bend down. 
and we're going to get buggered from behind by an alien. No. Right, it says insert in a terminal. I don't know where there's a terminal. But... You're telling me that's ammo? Oh, I see. It's a crossbow gun. Ah. Grab and drag back the handle. And then, do, do I load it, or was it automatically loaded? Oh, there's more ammo there. Can I put that into my inventory? It doesn't seem to want me to pick that up, does it really? Okay, so we've picked up... Oh, but my turps. Ooh. I remember the days when drinking mess was a favourite pastime of mine. Oh, no. Sorry. Wrong game. Right, so... I don't know whether that's everything. And patient number 247. They found this one in the automated shuttle floating outside our ship. Apparently, he was trying to dock with us when the jump drive fired, and it was dragged along for the ride in our wake. We're going to see what's out there. No, I expect to die quite a lot in this, so I'm never really massively great at A, first-person shooters, or B, anything that shoots a gun. So, you ask, what games are you good at then? Well, I don't know. Whoa! Fucking bastard. I'm not very good at horror games, obviously, as you can tell. No, I don't know. Oh. Reach the courtyard. So, if I let go of that, where does that go? Oh, that's handy. No. Um, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to... Am I going to die of oxygen here? Oh. Oh, no. No, it's not a cigarette larger fluid. Let's hope not. Whoa. Fucking dark. Jesus. I don't know if I'm going to do very well with this game. Every time I open the door and it like, darts open like that. This is going to be horrendous. What? Just remind me somebody, why do we play these games? Because we're stupid, that's why. Well, this is dodgy as shit already, this is, isn't it? Okay, five minutes in, I'm already petrified as it is. I will see, so... Well, that's not good, is it? Can I get in a little bit closer? I don't like all these noises. It's like, oh dear. Oh! Oh, what are you doing to yourself? Well, I'll be honest. I'm expecting to die from a common room when one of these doors opens. Can we not just get like remote? It's not fucking freaky the way it opens. And these lights ain't much better either. Now, hopefully, the monsters... Yes, because the ship is meant to be full of monsters. Thankfully, it's not full to the brim. Otherwise, we may have encountered something already. Although, I'm not expecting to get through too much longer without encountering something. Oh. 
Oh, I love a bit of gas. Oh, sorry, no, I shouldn't really promote those kind of things. Bottle. I'm not really sure what's in these bottles. Can of food. Oh. Yeah. There's another can of food there. Oh, can't have that one, can I? Okay, so I do. I would like to know if I can. Ah, there's a map. Okay, so oh, I've done it again. Fortunately, I can't pick up my fired bolts. Hopefully, I don't shoot myself in the foot. Thankfully, oh. Please put your thingy inside here. In you go. Can I make a withdrawal, please? Oh, grenade. One explosive grenade with a time fuse. Oh, excellent. So. Now, if you haven't played Cosmo Dread, it is rather cheap on Steam. Unfortunately, however, it isn't available on the PlayStation. But, I do have a PlayStation surprise coming up. Yes. So, I'm not sure when this video will go out. It should go out one of the days this week. It is... Oh, it is Tuesday today. But, I have a live stream that's going to go out live... Oh, in about an hour or so. So, this one I expect may well go out on the Wednesday. So I'm assuming this is probably Wednesday when this goes out. Because, yeah, I do record a day or so early. If I can. And, um... So, yeah, put Oh. No, let's put that back in, shall we? So, potentially, I might have a good little surprise for you. A little bit light lighter I hope so anyway assuming that it works can't see why it wouldn't work blue key card oh do anything the key card goes into no I don't know right I think maybe I should perhaps be a little bit more bullish a bit more aggressive with what I'm doing rather than just sitting here. I wonder if I can put these in. Oh, I can. So, I'm guessing all the nasties are down this end. Right, so I'd like a little bit of... A little bit of light. Because I'm expecting something unpleasant. Attention, an emergency has been reported. Please follow the instructions of the security ah, personnel and proceed to your designated safe area. Come on then. Open up. Open up. That's the next door. Key card. Oh, I'm gonna die of oxygen. <laughs> it sounds like there's something skittering around outside. I'm fucked if I'm opening that door. Oh. 
No, I can't touch that. I go back into reality. It's not virtual anymore, then. Oh, I'd love a cup of coffee that big. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Right, so if you haven't played this game, it's fucking really creepy, I'll be honest. Okay, at least I've got a bit of light in here now. Which is always good. Oh, are they bullets? Ah. Well, I mean, it looks pretty impressive outside. Is there a doorway up there as well? There's a doorway up there, I think. Yeah, I'm not opening that fucking door. Okay, so I've got no way of sprinting. There's something outside there. And if I open it, it's going to ship me up. I mean, wow, just look at that outside. Okay, so considering this game is a number of years old now, it's actually got excellent graphics. I mean, just look at the detail out there. Right, so... Okay, although I'm actually terrified, I'm going to open this door. I'm probably going to regret it as well. Whoa! Told you I was going to regret it. Here he comes. It's Mr. Hot Dog Man! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I've got no more ammo left. Shit, there's two of the fuckers! Mate, I shot you in the fucking head. Whoa, okay, so, can't run, thankfully neither can they. In the eyes! At last! Whoa, that doesn't really inspire confidence. You got any more bullets? Jesus. Come on, hot dog man! He looks funny. Oh, God. How many bullets did I take to kill? Fucking hell. Okay, I'll be honest, I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> it was a giant hot dog come running after me! Oh. Okay, right, well, let's... Warning, deployment of automatic defense systems has been authorized. Be oh, sure guys. to always remain inside the area allowed by your security credentials. Okay, that doesn't bode particularly well. Get the ship to Earth. Okay, that doesn't particularly look promising. Okay, so we'll um come back here another another time. Okay, I'll be honest, even though that monster or those monsters didn't look particularly well animated, it's still fucking creepy. Bastard things. So Mr. Hot Dog? It was totally a hot dog. I mean really? How can they expect a hot can you take a, se a hot dog seriously? I'm just glad that they don't run because, well, for some reason I don't have the ability to run either. So, yes. Is it going to be safe in here or am I going to be taken out by the security systems? I guess there's only really one way to find out and that's just to perhaps run through.
but it, it does seem pretty unnerving, really, doesn't it? Okay, well, that door can certainly wait. Whoa! <laughs> it sounded like something right here. The sound effects on this just drop. Whoa! Oxygen, oxygen, I haven't got no oxygen. Well, it looks like this is going to be my first death because I've got no friggin' oxygen. Ugh. Okay, right, so this is start of the uh, second playthrough. It looks like we get similar weapons. Oh. Give him here. Hmm. Get more this time. Well, uh, the monsters I came across, they didn't really have that much of a brilliant effect. Okay, so let's kind of press on very quickly because I'm not planning on staying on here. All noise banks. Hmm. Let's take some let's take this some KFC, shall we? So I'm not trying to advertise. What's this? What's that? Oh. Looks like a giant bong. Okay, we're not gonna piss about with Mary Jane. Okay, let's have the creeper door open again. Okay, so there's quite a lot of survival mechanics with this, well I'm saying quite a lot. Obviously you've got your own health, of course. And um, you've got um, oxygen, which is a bit of a pain having to monitor your own oxygen. But it is what it is. It's a survival game, so, well, you know. But what we need is a key for that doorway. Like I say, because it's procedurally generated, there's no point in kind of trying to get familiar with anything because it's all just going to change. So for all I know, there could be freaky bastards behind any door. Although, usually it sounds like you can hear them, to be honest. More oxygen. Oh, what's this? Flamethrower fuel. Oh, all I need now is a flamethrower. So that is handy knowing that we can get a flamethrower around somewhere. Lovely. Uh -huh. Right, that's the way I came from, so let's go this way. It sounds like there's an insectoid kind of monster behind the door. Attention. Oxygen concentration below minimum levels. It is recommended you make use of emergency oxygen canisters. Well, yeah, just need to dish a few more out then, don't you really? You fuck. Ah ha! That's what I'm looking for. Come here. I said come here. Oh. Oh. I'm full.
these noises are fucking well, I wouldn't say annoying, but well, yeah, they are annoying to a degree, but in the sense that they scare the shit out of you. Absolute tossers. Come on. Right, and in you go. What? The law for me, I can't remember which way I came in there. Whoa! Okay. I'll take that with me. Aha, there's the blue door. And blue key card is there. Put that in there. And we are back at this room again. Well, that's progress. We've got to the same room twice. Oh. The thing I always notice, it always gives you additional ammo in a game when it's expected to fire monsters at you because it wouldn't be inconsiderate enough to not give you the tools to defeat the enemies that come up. Or is that the way back to the same players I was up before? It could potentially be. But there's no way going through there. Well, there is. If you fancy getting a bit of a surprise. Well, okay, you're going to get a shock. So, let's check out a different door! What's behind door number... whatever number that is? Well, okay, there's not Mr. Hot Dog Man this time. Go back and pinch this battery. Oh! Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Oh. Go on. Power on. Oh, what's this? It's just a green thing on the wall. Okay, fast name. I kind of did actually guess that. It's a green thing on the wall. In you go. I've put me floppy in your drive. Ooh. That's great. Now all I need to know is where do I make these fucking things? Okay. Now, I did see a couple of cupboards over here. Oh, it's a mobile phone. Oh. I'll say that in case I want to ring for the back, ring for backup. Okay. 
So it's kind of like, surprise, when you go through each door, isn't it, really? Okay, so which one do we want? Imminent death or potential danger? Let's go for potential danger. Okay, because it's a bit on the dark side, and I don't really fancy turning into a Sith, we're going to take a battery. Oh! Well, that's a slight... Slight problem there. Somebody appears to have made a hole in the ship side of fuel cell. Hmm. Hmm. How much oxygen have we got? Draw. And no, I don't mean... Whoa! It's Mr. Sausage Man! Oh shit, there's two of the fuckers. Fall over and die. Whew. Well, that's handy. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, let's. Um... Oh, come here. Mr. Hot Dog Monster. Okay, now... I don't know what these things are. I don't know whether I've got myself lost now. I don't know where I am. Oh, I've got to watch it. I need oxygen. Ah. Oh. The good old days, Mary Jane returns. Whoa! You fucking bastard. That wasn't really what I wanted to have happen. You better be dead, mate. Or else I got an arrow up your arse. The other one disintegrated. Okay, so yeah, back through this way was the way I was going. Didn't he just come... Did he appear through there? Or... I don't know, he's a little shit. I mean, th this could really go on forever, isn't Oh. Fine navigation. Who's oh, one of the monsters has been having a wank in the toilets. Dirty bastards. Well, that's exciting. All the slime on the floor isn't particularly exciting, I'll be honest. That sounds grim. Whoa. Attention. Oxygen is 
Something sounds unhappy. Packaged food. Nah, not interested. Priorities. Pocket calculator. Nope. I've got one on my phone. Oh. Are we full? No, we're not full. That sounds really fucking upset. Well, that's the door for the next one. I think I wanna... Let's check this out. Eight bullets. 